Good evening, YouTube. So tonight we're gonna take the channel in a bit of a different direction. We're gonna start a mini series. And this particular mini series is going to be all about stick welding, commonly referred to by its scientific name as shielded metal arc welding or SMA. Capitals, S-M-A-W, SMA, stick welding. This particular episode, episode one, is going to be how to strike an arc. So the mini series is going to be pretty basic guys, basic tips and tricks on how to stick weld. Um, you know, I'll keep it short and sweet, short videos, try not to bore you guys, you know. If you like this kind of stuff, you know, like and subscribe. Anyhow, it's very basic. Take your stick rod, I got some 6010 here, well, I also got some 7018. Put it in your electrode holder, like that. Stinger, commonly referred to as a stinger. Actually, most commonly referred to as a stinger. I've never heard anyone call it an electro holder and being serious about it. Anyhow, my machine's not on right now, my table's not grounded. But what you want to do is just really gently just kind of real gentle across your workpiece, just kind of. Kind of like you're, they say, striking a match, but even gentler than that, like, almost like you're wiping some dust away or something, just, and it's that easy. It's that easy. Let's do it for real. All right, so a little bit, a little bit of better view of the welding rod into the stinger, just like that, just like that. It's really, really simple. And what I mean by just being really gentle about it is, like, if you're putting too much pressure, like that, when you're striking an arc, you're, you're going to stick. Uh, and if you're not putting enough, you're not going to be able to hold your arc. So, basically, it's just it's just like this. Got my dog. Get out of here. Get out of here. Just really, really just gentle. Just gentle, and then hold your arc. About an eighth inch. Eighth inch gap from your tip of your rod, from your um, workpiece. Okay. Let's check it out. We're using the Hobart stick mate. So, I got my workpiece grounded. You got me that ground clamp, and let's strike an arc. It's that easy. My machines don't really like 6010 either, but check that puppy out there. That looks nice, honey. Don't don't mind that. That was a don't ask. How about that? And so a good way to practice. I'm gonna unground my machine now. You know, just kind of just just practice. It just practice makes perfect. That's it, guys. It's really not hard. So just a really gentle boom. And you know you don't want to go and way off the way off your workpiece because you're gonna um, you're just gonna lose your arc. You gotta strike it really soft and stay stay close, about an eighth inch, maybe a little bit more if you if you're really hot. But yeah, sometimes you're gonna have some problems with sticking, especially if you've never done it before. You're just starting out. What I mean by sticking is this. rod will just get stuck to the plate. You gotta, you gotta be quick about it. You gotta be gentle and then up about an eighth inch. That's how I do it anyways. And if you come off the plate too much, this is a plate, but your work piece, this is what'll happen. See what I mean by losing your arc? So, get rid of that rod. Try that again, we'll run a couple of stringers here.
And so don't be discouraged if your stringers just look like complete crap your first time if you're just starting out, especially if you've never had any formal training. Like it's it's not easy, but it's not it's not hard, you know what I mean? Um, so just keep at it, keep practicing, get yourself a cheap machine and just and just do it. Turn the heat up and do it. Little trick for if you're sticking actually. No, this isn't perfect, but it, it's a good little trick to kind of get you going. If you're sticking, right, I just turned my, the, the heat on my machine way down, right? So if you're sticking, right? And it can be really frustrating. A good trick to stop sticking, or stop your rod from sticking on your workpiece, is to crank your heat up. Crank your heat up like 20 amps and give it a go. So there we go, when I was sticking here, it was on about uh, 65 amps, and now I'm on about 110. So. Just kind of a little tip to, uh, you know, get you started. It's not ideal. Ideally, you want to be able to not stick your rod on, on any amperage, I guess, but, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to stick your rod on purpose when, you know, you've just been not sticking it for so long. But anyhow, let's do some 7018 and show you guys the difference. Cheers. Anyhow, for reference, what I mean by 7018 is the type of um, stick rod, your electrode. So basically you got a 6010 here, 5P plus, that's the good stuff. And right here I got some off-brand, just, um, you know, not the good stuff, 7018. Uh, but my machines really like the 7018 and they don't really like the 6010. So it's kind of difficult to use 6010. I think it's a, a voltage problem or something where an amperage or something with my being at home, not in an industrial setting. They love 6011 though, but I don't have any right now, so. 6010, 7018. We'll do a 7018 bead right next to 6010 bead. And ideally, when you're welding 7018, you want to use like a chipping hammer to get the slag off a little. But I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna send it flying. So it might be kind of hard to tell, but right here you have your 7018 bead, and here you have your 6010. 7018 just is a lot prettier finished product, in my opinion, but can't go wrong with 6010. Um, both very strong, produce a very strong weld. Um, so, and we'll go over what all the, the numbers and letters mean in a different video. Like I said, mini series on basically basics of stick welding, shielded metal arc welding, small. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, you know, I hope you learned something, and just don't get discouraged. Just practice. That's it. You'll you'll get it. Seriously, it's if you, especially if you haven't had formal training, like I said. It's not gonna be easy starting out, like especially if you have a cheap machine, you know, for your house. Like it's not like, you know, you're using a multi-thousand-dollar machine at work or something to learn on. So it can be difficult, especially with the cheaper machines. But um, you know, you can do it. So hang in there. All right. And that is incredibly embarrassing. I can't even believe I just did that. 
I spelt subscribe wrong. Um, so it's holy shit! I spelt it hella wrong. Sub subscribe, subscribe. I can't even believe I just did that. Just subscribe, will you, please? Now I gotta go grind this off so I can reuse this plate. Peace, y'all. Make sure you got ventilation. Subscribe.